Cleveland is beginning to take steps to help keep people safe from lead poisoning. Emma Henderson has what can happen with the consequences of undiagnosed poisoning. Lead is actually quite silent. So these lowest levels of lead exposure, which lead to the largest decreases in IQ, actually are kind of symptom-free in children, and that's what makes it so devastating. Silent but devastating. That's how a pediatrician sums up the consequences of lead poisoning. Now the city of Cleveland has multiple departments working together to make it harder to sell a house with known lead issues. These affidavits of fact ensure that for the first time in our city's history, Properties under a lead hazard control order cannot be sold without the explicit knowledge that they are uninhabitable until the lead is properly abated. Lead paint was common into the 1980s, so it can be common in older homes. Two thirds of all of the housing in Ohio is built in the lead paint era. And um, we aren't just talking about lead paint chips. We're talking about the dust that accumulates. That's why making sure people have knowledge of lead hazards when purchasing or renting a house is so important. And Mayor Bibb anticipates this is just a first step in cracking down on nuisance violations in Cleveland. Urban areas in particular are the hardest hit. So inner city Cleveland um, and some of our oldest inner ring suburbs are also the hardest hit with lead paint. A problem years in the making that will take years to fix. In Cleveland, Emma Henderson, 3 News.